ended up uh, dating a girl named Mickey who was in uh, graphic design. She hmm. taught me how to use Photoshop and Illustrator. And she and I started a graphic design company in New Orleans. Um, you know, her with her formal training and me with my skateboard graphics and heavy metal logo, <laughs> you know, drawing, we made a really good team. And uh, we did we did graphic design for a while. And then we started a music magazine in New Orleans. Um you know, because we knew how to lay out a magazine, okay. and we both liked music, and we both had tons of friends that were in this unappreciated indie music scene in New Orleans. What year was this? So, this was um, early 2000s, maybe 2001, 2002. Okay, and this was a paper time. zine, or were you doing an actual glossy? Yeah, it was a glossy. It wow, was a full color okay. glossy magazine. Yeah. Um, didn't make any money on it. Uh, I was... The ad sales ended up on me, which ended up uh, crying a lot in the car because I hated going door to door trying to sell ads to people who didn't want to buy ads. Yeah. You know, again, the marketing thing would have come in really handy at that point, but, uh, you know, didn't have that. Um, around that time, I also started doing flyers and posters for bands. So doing gig posters and, you know, getting into soap screen stuff. Um Oh, that's you're saying like Kinko's, full on flyers. Yeah. Oh, wow. Nice. That's where the, you know, the, the Kinko's connection also came in pretty helpful for getting, you know, flyers printed out, okay. uh, stuff like that. Uh, Katrina hit and, you know, threw everybody in that area for a loop. Um, you know, our house in New Orleans had seven feet of water in it. Um, and I think it's, probably clear i don't take rejection well and i considered that a rejection really uh, you took I, it personally I, I, I took it personally uh that's yeah katrina did that personally um i didn't go back to new orleans for about a year and a half okay. uh, I, I would go back to see my parents but i wouldn't sit to it in new orleans for the longest time um and i also didn't want to have anything to do with art or music hmm. when i we got to austin and Austin's, you know, huge music town. Uh, right. Running a music magazine here would have been a no-brainer, uh, but it was too much. I just didn't want to do it. I, I heard they even have this people. festival that happens there with music sometimes. <laughs> I think I've heard of that too. Uh, yeah. It's 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 a little uh, underground thing, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> uh huh. Nobody goes to it. <laughs> yeah. It, uh, it never lasted. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, I, I just, you know, I was kind of taken aback. And then I went back to writing. Um, I wrote um, I wrote a couple of books. Uh, started with the NaNoWriteMo thing. Have you ever heard of that? Yes. It's uh, National Novel Writing Month. It happens in November. So I, I used that and did a couple of books that have gone nowhere. Uh, but, you know, I got my creative juices out. I wrote some screenplays. Um and really they didn't go they didn't go anywhere oh, you didn't do anything Again, i don't have okay. that i don't have that marketing thing i don't have that uh that being able to sell yourself uh and clearly i know i don't like rejection so mm -hmm. uh, trying to put myself out there is just it, it's a rough thing to to well, just, for me to think about doing to be clear nobody really likes rejection so <laughs> just you know there's some people that do <laughs> uh, I suppose. have you been on reddit yeah <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.